All right, boys, we're recording another video, and this one's going to be highly subjective, just as all my videos are, because I have to make sure that you all have my opinion crammed down your throat, because who doesn't want that? So, hey, how are you guys today? How are you? Are you good? I hope you're good. Um, if you're not good, reach out to somebody. People care about you. And uh, if you don't feel like anybody cares about you, send me a message on Discord, okay? I want to make sure that you know that you're cared about. That said, let's get into this video. <laughs> All right, so talking about, like I said, this is going to be highly subjective. Um, you guys are probably going to watch this and be like, why did I watch this video? But uh, I want to talk about, like, in my opinion, what um, <clears throat> the best T4s are for Fear the Darkness, because I get that question constantly on my Discord, like, oh, is this T4 good? Should I do this for Fear the Darkness? Should I do this for Fear the Darkness? And the simple fact is, is that, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> It just really depends, right? It depends on what you're doing, what your goals are, what your hopes are. So I'm, I guess I'm just kind of, I don't know, because Fear the Darkness, you can take so many different teams in now, especially with like Invisible Woman and, you know, all that. Like it just, there's a lot of different options for things that you can do. I don't know. So we're going to talk about just in general, what good T4s are for Fear the Darkness. And it's not even going to be like these ones specifically some we'll talk about specifically but it's going to be more like general advice and we'll get into that i can't tell you all of it now so what are some good fear of the darkness teams i had used a version that was a uh, different it was kind of similar it was kind of the classic team at the time so i used nick fury where are everybody else i actually used mordo for a while because i had the big red stars on him but we used uh nick fury i used star lord but i'm trying to set up the positioning the way that i had them and then we used, who else did we use, boys? Let me know in the comments if you remember, because I don't. Just kidding. I always forget who the uh, the third person is. Oh my gosh, I really can't remember who I used. Just kidding, I remembered the whole time, I just can't count. I was, for some reason, trying to count six people. So this is the team that I used at the time, and this team works because uh, Minerva, honestly, as dumb as it sounds, is your biggest damage dealer because of her ultimate ability. It takes, you know, percentage health away, and the dudes have, you know, health out the wazoo you know that i don't need to explain for the darkness to you so this was the team that i used initially then after i finished the first run i had ultron gear saved up and so i swapped out nick fury and put in ultron the reason i did that was simply because uh nick fury summons and so does ultron but you want more ultron summons on the board you don't care about nick fury summons uh once you get ultron out there so i don't this is what i did at times i put nick fury back in and took out groot just so that that way uh, shield security we get the defense up when he taunted but it really didn't matter once ultron got on the board i pretty much autoed most of this stuff so this was the team that i used for me the t4s that i had were a lot so i had well actually it's not not too too many but i had um i had t4s on shield securities uh special it did extra damage but i had that before from arena and raids definitely not necessary groot i had none a lot of people talk about having t4s on groot all the time i had none on groot uh, Ultron, obviously I had all of them, but again, that doesn't really count because he wasn't in the first run. Minerva, none of them. You don't need them. Star-Lord, I had all of them except for his basic. Again, I don't know if that was necessary, but I wanted to get through Fear the Darkness as quickly as possible. I hated that mode, and I thought it was just awful. Depending on the team that you're using, because you could have done a lot of different stuff, right? So there's so many different options for teams nowadays especially like if you swap out Groot and put in uh like Invisible Woman which I think is a better pick because she cleanses just as well but she also provides barrier so now this team this is not a bad team either by any means but I've also seen people do something like this with a uh, juggernaut wherever he's at I've seen people do this uh kind of the big staple that I have seen though is Star-Lord Minerva that seems to be the big big staple then you have a cleanser whoever that might be invisible woman Groot uh some people use Ronin because he cleanses everything that's pretty crazy and uh you know this seems to be like one of the legendary leaders with their tank so you could also do something like this and you could put in Colossus if you happen to have a strong Colossus. I do not because we can't farm him and my stars are very low on him. Even though I have big red stars on him, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. So that said, uh, Fox next, could we uh, could we get our boy Colossus as farmable? Um, that would be great. Um, just a quick shout there. So it, it depends on what team you're using. So this team, honestly, this is probably the best team right now. Well, the hard part is, is that Phoenix is going to die and then you'd have to pay to revive or you could just do one node a day. So maybe that's actually not um the team that i used i actually still really like but maybe i would switch to the magneto juggernaut one uh 
honestly, what I kind of found with using the Nick Fury team is a lot of utility because you can get stuns with shield security and that's a pretty big deal. That's for me, I don't know, it's hard to say. You have to figure out what you want to do. I've seen a lot of people um, just do this, but then they use uh, Rocket and Groot. And so like we kind of already had that. And then I don't know, does it make kind of invisible women unnecessary? Maybe, but the barriers are super good. I've seen some people use Sabretooth because of his bleeds. I mean, it just depends on really what, like what you want to do here or what you might have good, you know, I hate to, I say this every video where I'm talking about what characters you, you should use for things. And it just frustrates me to no end, but it's like, you should use characters that you have big red stars on. I hate saying that. And I think you guys hate it when I say that too, because I always get negative comments when I say that, but it's like, that's the best way to do this. Because if you have a seven red star, I don't know, Captain Marvel, you should use Captain Marvel in this situation. If you have a six red star, I don't know, Killmonger, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, I don't know. You should probably use those characters. I don't know. I don't know about Miles. That might not be a good decision. But <laughs> like overall characters that have like good utility and stuff like I don't know, if you have a seven red star rocket, then you should use this version of the team. But if you have a seven red star Magneto, you should probably use the Magneto version of the team. It really just depends on you and your roster. But overall, forming these teams, I think these two are a huge staple. And then some cleanser, one of these, you could do both, but one of them is specifically good. Now, right, so like I said, the topic of the whole video, I've spent this entire time talking about forming a team. Kind of. So when it comes to T-Force, let's talk about the T-Force. So... You want to pick ones that generally help. So for example, specific example, when it comes to Fear the Darkness, do you need this one? Even if you're using Magneto and Juggernaut, probably not. Is it a good one? Is it gonna help you in the rest of the game? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of the best overall T4s in the game. But are you gonna need it for Fear the Darkness? I don't know, probably not. But then when you look at our, uh, when you look at our boy Star-Lord, it's like this one, okay. Um, this one's very good. You can't even see it because my face is in the way. But uh, the one to two ability energy for adjacent allies, that is so good because this team thrives on ability energy going to Minerva, her using her ultimate. Minerva, ultimate, Minerva, ultimate. So like that one, you got to have it. And it's really not even that good outside of Fear the Darkness. But in Fear the Darkness, it is very, very, very good. Same thing with this ability. I think this is almost a must have because blinding can save you so much trouble when it comes to a lot of these teams and it lands very often. And so this ability, again, is one that I look at and I'm just like, okay, you really have to have this. And it's really not like it's SI outside of Fear the Darkness. But in Fear the Darkness, this is very mwah, muy good. Uh. I don't know what that was. But so when you look at things, you want to look at them for like the use for Fear the Darkness. Because there's some that are good outside of it, some that are just like whatever. But like those specifically, like you just, it just, it depends on your team. And I hate to say that because I can't just like, oh, like what's the best thing to do? If you guys literally post in my Discord, say, hey, I'm using this team. What T4s do I need? Myself or other very helpful people will respond. So join Discord. The link is in the description as it always is. And check it out. That will be your best resource because like right now, like I can't tell you because I don't know what your team is and I'm not going to go through the entire roster. It's a hundred and some characters and just be like, oh, yes, these T4s are good. These T4s are blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? It just depends on your roster who you're using and whatnot but so you can join discord we will help you we'll set you in a good place and we'll get you going if you're still thinking about it or not sure but overall it just depends you want ones that help the team and you want ones like for example like with this this gives x-men allies extra damage and health and it just that's probably not necessary if you're using that in fear of the darkness now uh this is very good so maybe it is helpful it gives you the defense down for two turns when she dies but again it's kind of like messy because like do you want to use her in fear of the darkness because she dies all the time and that's how she does it then you're probably not i don't recommend that unless like that's just what you're feeling you could swap in somebody else to so say she's like extra then that could probably work but you don't want it to be like oh i only have five you probably don't want to make it hurt because then you're gonna have to probably only do one note a day and that's gonna be annoying that said guys like i said join discord if you have questions or if you want to talk to me or other people about this kind of stuff uh but that's pretty much all i've got for you when it comes to these t4s for it's kind of like uh like team building t4 guide whatever 
for fear of the darkness. I feel like I get this question so much. That's why I wanted to make the video about it. It's literally like one of the most asked questions that I get is like, oh, is this team good for this? Anyways, I'm not making fun of you guys. I just, when I don't know what to say and I feel like I need to say more, I, I make weird noises. So, okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to uh, smash that subscribe button uh, if you enjoyed this. Actually, just smash the subscribe button no matter what. Even if you hated this video, you watched this video and it made you angry and you kicked your cat and punched your mom and do not punch your mom and smashed a window and threw your computer across the room. Uh, make sure to smash the subscribe even if this video caused you to do all that. Um, and then also uh, check yourself into a hospital because you're crazy. But um uh... Leave a like on this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking. And uh, join Discord. And, uh, you know, hey, follow on Twitch. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye.